everyone. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to have you here with me today to learn more about the Mystery Anti-Aging Beauty Elixir and it costs absolutely nothing, which is totally amazing. And before I get into that, I know you're kind of wondering about my hair. I am too. Alan hates it, quite honestly. I went to my stylist this morning and I'll link her below. She's wonderful. Jo Lynn at Eric Fisher in Wichita. She's fabulous. But I asked her to do beachy waves at the end of the session. Normally she just blows it out straight like I always do it. So she did these beachy waves and they look like this when I came home, very flat on the top. And my husband's comment was, well, I kind of like the bottom, but the top looks terrible. So I went ahead and teased it a little bit. And in an ongoing battle, tell me in the comment section, if you would, do you prefer the straight look or the curly look? My husband still does not like this. He says, Beth, you look very common, was his word. I don't know. Maybe it's because I look stylish. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you think, that would be great. And I did want to show you the outfit that I'm wearing today and the jewelry. It is all from Amazon. I'm going to Jamaica in the next couple of weeks. And so I pulled out some of these sleeveless tops because I'm going to wear them in Jamaica because they absolutely do not wrinkle up in a suitcase, which is totally wonderful. And if you're not yet a subscriber of the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. Okay, this is something that I just saw on the news this morning, and I thought I really needed to share it with you because all of the movie stars, when asked how they look so good at 40, 50, 60, and beyond, they always say, oh, I drink a lot of water. Stay out of the sun and I drink a lot of water. And I also drink a lot of water. I drink two of these a day. This kind of keeps me hydrated. But when I looked up the research on skin, there was really nothing definitive that actually drinking this kind of water gives you better skin. But according to recent research, it is truly something that we should all be doing, regardless of whether or not it makes us look younger. Apparently drinking a lot of water actually makes us biologically younger and protects us against a full range of diseases. And a recent study was just released by the National Institutes of Health, and I've linked it below. And it basically says that people who drink enough water that water usage is associated with a significantly lower risk of developing chronic diseases. People who drink a lot of water have a lower risk of dying early and drinking enough water helps you be biologically younger than your calendar age. And it actually helps you live longer. Now the authors of this study looked toward a study that was done a few years back about mice. And basically they had two groups of mice one, they gave a lot of hydration and the other, they restricted their hydration. And what they found was that in the mice without hydration or lesser hydration, it increased the level of something called serum sodium in your blood. And what they found in the mice is that at the end of their lives, which is not very long compared to ours, those mice that actually had the hydration had lower levels of that serum sodium in their blood and they lived six months longer, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in human years, that means we would live 15 years younger through keeping up good hydration. So those researchers at the National Institutes of Health, with that in mind, they conducted a study of about 11,000 people over 30 years. They started the study in 1987 and it looked at the levels of serum sodium in their blood and again, if you drink a lot of water, you have lower serum sodium. And if you drink not enough water, you have higher serum sodium. And the difference between the two groups of people was pretty astounding. Those who did not drink enough water had much poorer health outcomes over time. They had a 64% higher risk of developing diseases like heart failure, stroke, diabetes, and dementia, just to name four. And I, for one, get a little frightened of my sort of memory issues sometimes. And the idea of dementia or a stroke is something horrible that I sure don't want to have in my future. So to me, drinking more water is pretty essential to keeping us away from those really bad health outcomes. Now, interestingly enough, the people that had the higher serum sodium levels actually had a 50% risk of being biologically older than their age, in fact, significantly older than their age. And as someone in her 60s, I don't want to be any biologically older than my calendar age for sure, but more importantly than that, those people with higher serum sodium levels who drank less water had a 21% risk of dying earlier than their peers. And I certainly don't want that for me and I don't want that for you either. And the study pointed out that we're not just talking water here, we're talking fluids of all types, soups, 
juices, that kind of thing, even pop, I suppose. And the optimum amount of fluids for a man is about 15 and a half cups a day. And for women, it is about 11 and a half cups. And I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I absolutely love this. This is 750 milliliters of water. Amazingly enough, it's only three cups. But what it does, it has a little smart kind of a grid here to start here at 8 a.m., here is 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., and then it has afternoon hours. You basically drink this down in the morning, carry it with you, and then in the afternoon you fill it again. And then at the end of the day, you've had one and a half liters of water. And I suppose to get closer to that maximum female amount, you might do this a third time in the evening. And although there aren't studies showing that increasing water really decreases the wrinkles or anything like that, I have been doing this now for about the past year and I really do think that it just makes my skin look clearer, more radiant, and even more than the beauty benefits, I was really excited by the anti-aging benefits because we all need that, especially in our second half. Okay, that was my look at how important water can be for us and I hope you will grab your two liter bottle or whatever and start drinking. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and this is my Mind of a Champion card deck. And I like this card deck because it doesn't just have affirmations, it has affirmations on one side and then actions to take on the other. Ooh, this is a good one. I choose discipline over regret. I choose discipline over regret. Ooh, that's kind of scary. It says, track your thoughts. What are the things you want to change? What ideas do you have? Write it down with the ideal outcome. Track your thoughts. What are the things you want to change? Well, okay, one of the things you could want to change is drinking more water. And it does remind us to choose discipline over regret. And certainly drinking more water is a great way for us to be more disciplined because it greatly contributes to our long and healthy life. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.